Hello and welcome back to another video. I am ZipperSpark and you're watching my barely modded Factory Tech Let's Play series. Today um, it is going to be somewhat of a shorter video but um, I hope you don't mind. Um, but I will go over a couple things that I did. Um, I worked on this some more and I've got it working better. Um, it is only currently supplying the parts and so the basic gears over here and then the gears over here I have automatically being refilled but the uh, the nickel cutting blades I don't um, but I can show you how I did the gears um, and then I'll kind of work up something similar for that but it's just going to take um, you know more complicated redstone to get the signal in the right spot so um, what I did is I have a hopper that um, this one is well full of gears but uh, so if this one if this hopper runs out of gears or this hopper runs out of gears then the comparator will off and what that will do is it will turn on the pulse piston so when a gear drops by it will be pushed into inside the insertion hatch go down into the chest and then you know filter into the hopper um, so this one I have feeding directly into the grindstone since the grindstone only takes the gears but the, since the uh, what is this the uh, the metal cutter the metal cutting machine since it takes both the blades and the gears, um, the way I worked it so that it's not ever going to be, I guess, out of the one to the point where it won't get enough. Um, if this hopper runs out of the cutting blades, then it will go up here. But if, so if this hopper runs out of gears, so I guess we've got a whole bunch here. Yeah. So if I take this, and if I take the last gears out, then it sends the signal over here through this, and this is just a simple little, um, uh, what do they call it, uh, monostable circuit, so that only uh, it, one pulse will come to here, and it will take one of these iron ingots, push it into the metal cutter to be turned into a gear. And then the fact that that went down, means the gear showed up over here. So as soon as the gear is made, it pops up out here on top of these rollers and comes around. And since this pulse piston is, well, I guess this one technically, is told that, hey, whenever a gear comes by, push it in. It just does that. And then as soon as the hopper says, hey, I found it, it's gonna, you know, drop down. Um, the flaws with this system is if I'm out of iron, then only one pulse happens and so I'd have to manually do it so it does still take a lot of manual um, intervention so it's not 100% fully automated yet but that is uh, a lot better so that I can be you know putting um, putting things in and uh, I guess technically this should be putting a dropper into the hopper to feed it in so that Anyways, or, yeah, honestly, the metal cutter that's creating the gears should not be also used to create other things. So probably have to do kind of specialized machines. So make one metal cutter that its entire job is to refill the gears for everybody. And so whenever one of the redstone signals from the gear says, hey, I need more gears, it will be told to make some more um, so yeah I wanted to retouch on that um, and then the other thing I wanted to do real quick is take you on a trip over to the witch farm so I have oh I hear a spider no he's not upset at me no Oh. 
Haha, uh -huh, he just died. Well. Okay. I set up a waypoint over at the witch hut. If I turn that back on, we can see it and head over there. It's that direction. So let's head in that direction. And I left the gate open. I feel vulnerable now. Over here, is this gate closed? Yeah. There's a zombie somewhere in a cave underneath. But, so let me explain what I plan to do with the witch hut. And this is uh, what I wanted the soul sand for. Is um, uh, Il Mango, and I will link up to the uh, video that talks about this. The um, Il Mango is one of the uh, technical Minecrafters from the SciCraft server. Uh, if you haven't ever seen any of their stuff, I would highly recommend going over there. But um, he has created a witch farm design that I want to use um, that uses soul sand and shifting floors and um, isn't one of those 100% efficient witch farm designs, but is like 90 some odd percent because the only... The only time that you, the witches won't aren't able to spawn and the, what reduces the 100% efficiency is when the floors are actively shifting. Um, so if you get the timing such that, you know, the shifting of the floors... and I, Did I leave a boat over here? No. I thought I'd, I left a boat somewhere on one of these rivers that kind of dead-ended. Um, it is a cross river. I might want to... I brought all the gears. Why did I bring all the... Uh, well, let me make a boat at least. Alright. I think the most... The rest of the way is fairly... Um, I can get there with just boating. I don't have to, well, most of the way at least with boating. So, yeah, I was going to make the switch farm design and I will probably, um, I'll show most of it. I don't know if I'll show the entire build, um, or if it'll be a, a time-lapse kind of thing or just what, but, um, wanted to show you where it was at least so that you guys could see and then kind of be looking forward to it and um, I have the witch trapped so she should be in here yep looks like still in there um, but yeah if you don't know the witches that generate with the, the, the witch hut don't ever despawn and so you don't have to name tag them or anything they just don't despawn so that's why I have the witch trapped. Um, but yeah, the witch hut's here. Uh -huh. And then I was going to take it down, build the farm, and so forth. So I'm going to show you that. And this is where that is. Um, I would take a peek at the witch, but she's going to want to like throw things at me. Um, she notices. Hi! You want to... You want to throw a poison at me? Because you'll splash and hit yourself too. Aha! <laughs> kind of startled me. <laughs> but, if I can block her in. I mean, she's fine in there. She's got health potions. I'm not worried about her livelihood. They say her. Most most uh, mobs in this game are gender neutral. But uh, I don't know. A witch traditionally is a female. It's a wizard or a morlock or, or morlock. Warlock. Yeah, morlocks are something different if uh, you know what they are. But um, yeah, I was going to show... And then, um, I don't know exactly what else 
to talk about. And like I said, this is going to be a shorter episode, and I apologize for that. But I did want to, to get the episode out um, anyways, because I am short on time this weekend. But you guys should at least get something rather than nothing and an apology and a tweet or something. But um, is that a dog? I don't have any bones. I just have I just have pork chops and you won't tame for pork chops. And I don't want to go tracking down the skeleton. But um some other plans I have for the series like uh I do plan on doing making like a fully factory tech autom automated factory that you know places all of its gears and stuff with things so that whenever I want something I can just go over to the machine that does that and do it um, and uh, things like that but um, as far as vanilla type things I do want to set up that witch farm so I'll have to come up over this way I don't fall in the ravine uh, I will set up the witch farm I'll probably set up some sort of like a gold farm or enderman farm or something in the nether in the end and stuff. Um, I'll kill the dragon, kill a wither, um, you know, kind of all the, the generic stuff. Uh, but as far as like big builds or whatever, um, as in these barely modded series, I'm not going to have like big vanilla style builds or whatever or complicated stuff. Um, it'll be mostly, you know, showcasing the mod and, um, you know, showing off the capabilities that has and how it can enhance the vanilla gameplay. But as I said, this is a shorter episode and I do apologize for that, but um, I hope you guys can just uh i don't know, forgive me for it or something i don't know anyways um thank you so much for watching leave a like if you did like the video and i will see you guys next time Bye bye